Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to look at how we can write content to a file in C programming language. So let's begin. To write contents, we can open the file with W or A mode. So basically, we can write here either W or we can write A. Now, A means append and W means write. Okay. Now, append means let's suppose that a file exists with the name abc.txt and it is already written there. This is good. Now, when I am opening the file with the A mode, what will happen that whatever I am writing in this file, it is going to append from this location. Okay. And whenever I am opening the file with the W mode, that is the write mode, then all the content that previously existed will be removed or erased. And whatever I will write, it will start writing from starting position. Okay. So append means from the last and the write mode means from the beginning. Okay. And everything will be erased when we are using the mode as W. Right. So now when we are opening the file with the write mode, first of all, what will happen that if the file does not exist, if the file does not exist, then it will create a file. So in W or A mode, if file does not exist, then it will create a file. And now let's say that you don't have a permission to create the file in that directory. In that case, our F open will return us null. Okay. So basically, if file is not allowed to create, right? These two conditions are when the file does not exist. Similarly, let's say that file exists, but you don't have the permission to write any content in that. So in that case, it, it is again going to return me null. Okay. No write permission. Now, first of all, I'll check if FP is equal equal null. Okay. Now, FP will be equal to null when I don't have the permission to write the content to this file or we can say that file does not exist and also we don't have permission to create a file. There could be other reasons also, but this is the basic reason for giving it the fp is returning the null okay in that case i can write here printf unable to open okay and i will exit my program using exit function right now whenever you want to terminate a running program then you can write exit zero now exit function is defined in the header file and zero means that program is executed or terminated without any errors Right. So this function you can use. Now, if this is not equal equal null, that means our file has been opened successfully. Now to write content, we can use the function that is f put c. Now it takes two things. That is, first of all, we have to write here character and then we have to write the file pointer. Okay. Now let's say that I had opened the file in the append mode. Right. So this file will be opened here and then I'll write here f put c and then i'll write here n okay note that we have to write the content character by character okay in the next video we will see about how we can send or write the string and read the string using the function f gets and f puts okay but here we are talking about the character by character writing right so i'll write here let's say n and then i will do give the file pointer that is fp now n will be written here okay why here because i am opening the file using the append mode right similarly let's say i want to write another character then i'll write f put c and i'll write here let's say n e okay this is the character and again the file pointer okay now first of all remember that when i am writing this letter that is n our fp is coming to the next location okay so after that it is writing e so e will be written here and fp will go to the next particular location okay so fp is incrementing its position after writing the content right let's say i want to write another character then i can write f put c and then w and then again fp okay so now it will write w and then here okay now let's say that i had opened the file with the w mode that is write mode now in that case this every content will be re removed and the final file 
content will only be n e w okay whatever i had written it then what i'll do i'll close this file so i'll write here f close and then file pointer that is f p and that will be all here so now one thing to note here is that whenever the file is opened with the w or a mode then f close function is going to write a special character that has the sky value of 26 at the end of a file okay so remember that it will when i am closing the file the content of whatever is present in the buffer it will go to the disk along with a character at the end will also be written whose x sky value is 26 and the character is this character okay so remember that this will be also be done by the f close function when we are using w or a mode and also the buffer will be eliminated and the content will be returned to the back to the disk now let's make a program in which we will read the content from one file and we will write that contents to another file so basically we will be performing both operations that is reading from one file and writing to the another file so let's see let's say we have two files that is source.txt and target.txt and let's say the content on the source.txt are i am here okay and there is another file target dot t x t okay and we have to write the content of i am here to this file so first of all i'll make two file pointer variable that is fr and fw open the respective file now we have to read content from this file source dot txt file so i will open this file with the mode r okay and i have to write content to this file so i will open this file with the w mode okay so now i will check is either of these are giving me null or not so i write here if fr is equal equal null or fw equal equal null now okay so in that case i'll print it print f not possible okay and i will exit my program and send the value zero right now i will be sending here zero to notify the programmer that the program has been terminated successfully okay no problem has been occur basically what happens when we run our program with the command line let's say the name of our program is abc dot c okay then in the command line we generally write dot abc after the compilation now in that case our program execution will run and this value will be added after the execution okay but let's say that this condition is false in that case i have to write each and every character of source.txt file so now i will use infinite loop right and then since i have to take the input so i have to write here care ch okay and then i will write ch now to take to read the to read the character we use the function f get c right and then i have to write the file pointer for reading and this is fr okay so i'll write here fr and then what we do we check the whether this is end of file or not so i'll write here if ch is equal equal eof then we have to end from this loop so i'll write here break okay but let's say this condition is false in that case we have to write this i to this file so after that i'll write here f put c and now i have to write this character so i'll write here ch and then in which file this file okay and the file pointer for this is fw so i'll write here fw right and then i close it and that will be all so our program will be done successfully and it will write every content present in source.txt to target.txt let me run it for some time First of all, it will it is written ch equals to f get c fr. So fr will be pointing here. It will return the character that is i and it will be stored in the ch variable. Okay. So ch will be holding i. Then it will check if ch equal equal eof, which will be not. Okay. Then this will be false. So this line will not execute. Then it is written f put c ch fw. So here it will write the character that is i. Right, loop will again run and now after returning the character it will increment its, its position. So after returning i it will be pointing to this character. 
okay again this line will be executed and now ch will be pointing to or having the content as space okay no content and fr will be incrementing its position so fr now be pointing to this location when it is checked this is false and then it is writing the character so here it will be space okay then again this loop will run then it fr is pointing to this location so now ch will be assigned with the value a and then fr will come here okay fr remember that as we talked in the reading video also the fr or when we use the f get c function with file pointer then the file pointer will return me the character and it will increment its position so fr was firstly pointing to this location then this then this then this okay so now it is pointing to m and after returning character a okay first it is returning the character a then it is incrementing its position so it is return a then it is false and then again it will write here a okay again then i am then space here at the end here there will be eof so the file will be uh, the loop will be terminated and the content or the block of infinite loop will end it okay after that i'll close these two files so i'll write here f close fr right and f close f w right and i close the main program right so this is how we are able to write the content of one file to another file okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video